So, you have a new Superman movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. I was thinking we call it Superman 2. Yeah, no, I think it should have a different name than the first movie. Right, so then I would call it Superman and then the number two. Now we're talking. So what happens in this thing? Well, I figure like all good sequels, we start this off with an eight minute recap of the first movie using clips from the first movie. That seems kind of excessive. Well, sir, people need to remember that the Marlon Brando character sent Zod off into space in a rectangle. Actually, we can't use Marlon Brando in this one. Oh, dang it. Okay, well, we'll recap recap the first movie and pretend like that part happened entirely differently. Perfect. So what happens when the actual movie starts? Well, some freaking terrorists are gonna blow up Paris with a hydrogen bomb, so Superman launches it into space. Seems like a lot to launch a whole city into space. No, he just launches the bomb. That's a better strategy, yep. But the explosion frees Zod and his two best friends from their space rectangle. Oh, they were floating past Earth? What are the odds of that? 100%. There was no way I wasn't gonna write that. Ha, what a fun fact. So Zod and Ursa and Nan land on the moon and kill a couple of astronauts there. Very impolite. And they find out about Earth, so they decide to head over there and rule. Oh, they want to rule Earth? They just seem to want to rule something. They don't really seem to care what it is. That's very open-minded of them. We need more of that kind of mentality. I guess. So on Earth, they have Superman-like powers, like super strength and flight and eye lasers. They're bulletproof. They can't be hurt. Only by snakes, sir. Only by snakes. What? So they fly over to Mount Rushmore and change those faces to their faces with a single laser zap Beach. What again? And meanwhile, Superman and Lois Lane are off in Niagara Falls working on a story. Okay. And while they're there, a child starts falling for several minutes, so Superman saves it. Nice, thank God that kid was falling for so long. Yeah, but then Lois pieces together that Clark Kent is Superman, so she jumps into the rushing water to force him to save her. So he turns into Superman? No, he keeps pretending to be Clark, but he does laser a tree for her so she can save herself. How does he know she wouldn't bash her head on a rock or something? Well, we're not even halfway through the movie, so he knows that wouldn't happen now. Oh, this guy's reading the script. He's got all kinds of powers. Yeah, so Lois is like, geez, I guess you really aren't Superman. Well, well, it's crazy the lengths he'll go to to protect his secret identity. It sure is, sir. So in the very next scene, he falls into a fireplace and she figures out his secret identity. Oh, uh, whoops. Whoopsie. So now that she knows, he decides to fly her to the Fortress of Solitude for a nice little dinner. Oh, lovely. And then she says she's gonna go change into something more comfortable. Did they stop along the way to get her pajamas? I guess so. And meanwhile, Superman and starts talking to a hologram of his mom and she's like, hey, if you love a human, you must give up your powers. Why? Because she says he's gotta. But why though? Because she said so. Well, okay then. And she says the thing is, if he gives up his powers, there's no turning back. Jeez, I mean, that's an important thing to consider. You know, as Superman, he saves countless lives all the time. Yeah, for sure. But see, the thing is, he really wants to sleep with this woman from work. Understandable. Yeah, that's a good counterpoint for sure. So he gets into this machine that takes away his powers and gives him normal civilian clothes. Oh, cool feature. So then Lois, who was madly in love with Superman, is like, wow, I can't believe you gave up being Superman for me. I guess that's romantic. So now they want hamburgers. So they start driving around looking for a spot. Did Superman have a car stored at the Fortress of Solitude? Sure seems that way. But then inside this diner, Superman gets beat up and they see that Zod has taken over the country. So Clark is like, well, geez, I guess I better go get my powers back. Well, that's gonna be tough. His hollow mom said there was no going back. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, he walks all the way back to the North Pole and finds a little green kryptonite thing, and so that settles that. He's all set. Oh, well, his hollow mom made it sound impossible to turn it back. Yeah, well, it wasn't. Oh, my God. Anyway, so meanwhile, Lex Luthor, remember from the first movie? He's from the first movie. Yeah, so he escapes from prison. How does he manage that? Well, he invented a little projector in his cell that shows an image of him, but the guards see that the light's still on in his cell after lights out, so he almost gets caught. Seems like he could have just turned off the lights and bought himself a lot lot more time. Yeah, well, he invents a projector instead. So he tells Zod that if he wants to find Superman, he needs to go to the Daily Planet and find Lois Lane. And what's in it for Lex Luthor? Ah, Australia. The, oh. Okay. So Zod goes to the Daily Planet and Superman shows up to save the day. Oh boy. So they fight for a little bit and Zod realizes that Superman's weakness is that he cares about people. He does. So the bad guys use their powers to start blowing everybody in the streets. Oh! Uh, that sentence would have been a lot clearer if there was like a clip playing over me so you could see what I was talking about. That'd be nuts. Anyway, then Superman lures them to the Fortress of Solitude. Uh, luring people to your lair is tight. And they do some more fighting there. They multiply themselves. Superman 
throws a plastic S at one of them. He has the power to throw plastic S's. Yes, sir. As a child of Krypton, sometimes he got he's a, he can he can throw a cellophane logo at people. Well, okay then. And then Superman's gonna make them all think that he's getting into the machine that takes away your Superman powers, but in reality, he reversed the machine to take away their powers if they're outside of it. Oh, so Zod and his buddies get some normal civilian outfits. Now they just lose their powers. Oh. So then they murder the bad guys and save the day. Oh my God. But now Superman decides he doesn't want Lois knowing his secret identity, so he gives her a big kiss that wipes her memory. A memory wiping kiss, huh? That has some pretty messed up implications. No, it doesn't. And oh, by the way, there's a picture of Bill Cosby hanging on the wall at the Daily Planet. Why'd you bring that up? I don't know. So what do you think? Well, it sounds like a movie. Do you think people will be mad about Superman killing Zod, though? Why would anyone get mad at something like that? Hi, this is Ryan George from The Thing You Just Watched. Please enjoy this slideshow from The Thing You Just Watched.